In this video, I will teach you how you can access your cookies from server side in Next.js. Hello my friends, welcome to the series I called Quick Tricks. Now I have wrote a blog post about it already where I've gone in more details. If you are interested, I will put the link on the description. You can check that out. I have created a simple Next.js application. The application is running on port 3000. The link is open on the browser. So in order to get the cookies, you have to go to that page file where you want your cookies from. So I'm in my index file right now, that my root route. All you have to do is export an async function called get server side props. Now, if you are using TypeScript like me, then you can import a type from Next.js, which is get server side props. It is from Next. And now you have to return that type from this function. Now it is giving me an error because I have to return an object. So I will return an object here now. Inside the object, you have to nest another object, which is props. I will leave it empty for now. Now in the function, you have to pass a parameter. Now when Next.js will call this function, Next.js will pass a context object in the function call as an argument. But what is this context object? If I just show it to you, I will save this file, then go to the browser, refresh. Now if I go to the terminal, you see this huge object. This is the context object. Now inside this context object, there are two main nested objects, which is request and response, just like Node.js express request response object. Now inside the request object, there is another object called cookies. Now this is the object you want. If I show it to you, context request dot cookies. If I save, and you can see here, this is an empty object because there is no cookies on this link on my browser. So. Just to prove it to you, I'll create a cookie here. I will name this JWT and the value will be some gibberish. Now if I refresh again and the cookies are printed here and this is the object you want. And now you can use it however you want. You can destructure it or now you can store the cookies on a variable and pass the cookies as a props in the props object. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not request, this is should be just rec. You can use it in a destructuring way, but I'm not gonna bother about it. And that's how you get cookies in Next.js from server side. So that's it for today guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, GitHub, Instagram or Twitter as that Anjan. You can also DM me if you want. If this video has been helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.